Good morning guys! So today you and I are going to talk about diverse knowledge. Yes! We'll talk about diverse programmers and why you may get the impression that the more tools you know, the better you are. And the big mistake in mindset that you have when you think that. Let's get into it. So, let's define some th things first. Back in the day, I was just like you. I thought that the more tools I knew and the more stuff I knew about all of these different topics, the more skilled I would be. And I had the unfortunate situation of being convinced by the IT world that this is in fact the case. There are so many different topics to learn about and basically we live in a world where the IT people or the companies they want to have people who are not only skilled, masters of their craft, but they also want people who know a lot of stuff. And let's talk about that, why that is, for just a moment before we get into what, really sh what you really should be thinking as opposed to this thing. So, let's look at it from the perspective of the company. Let's take a really stupid company, a really stupid company. I'm not going to name any names or anything like that because this is true for a lot of companies out there. And it's especially true for consultancies. They are, wow. Let's actually talk about those as well. So let's talk about the product company first and foremost. Why is it interesting for a product company to have diverse developers. Well, skilled developers, I think we can all agree that there is an interest. I mean, that's this, that this is fairly straightforward, I hope. You want skilled developers because skilled developers are going to be worth more money, or rather to your company, they're going to provide more code, stable code, better code, yada, yada, yada. Skill is good. Let's just to say that first, so that's out of the way. It's out of the way. Cool, let's move on to the next thing. Why would they, they want diverse developers? Well, because on paper, what does a diverse developer tell you? I can only speak for myself, but this is what I've been told over and over and over. Diverse developers indicate something. The first and foremost thing they indicate is that they are skilled. On paper, it looks like they are very skilled. Think about it yourself. If I come up to you, or rather, if you read my CV and it says on my CV that I speak 13 languages and have four different degrees. That's pretty impressive. And the same thing goes for the number of languages you know. Why in the world would you not diversify when you're interested in programming? And why would a company not assume that you're skilled because you know all these different topics? That's what, a, in my opinion, a, a naive company or whoever is hiring at that company will, will assume. Next thing, it indicates hunger and hunger is a good thing. You want motivated developers because if you get in somebody like a, let's say, let's take Linus Torvalds, the heavyweight champion of Pro, the programming world virtually, a man that is so well established in the IT world that he's virtually a god walking among us regular mortals. If you took him, let's just say for the sake of argument that he applied for a position at a small web firm and his job would be to, I don't know, purely do styling in CSS. That would be a really bad fit for him as a developer and the company would have a hell of a time managing him in that type of position. But if you have a developer who is extremely diverse and hungry, you can throw that person at a, almost any type of problem. It indicates that the person is interested in their profession at a deep, profound level. The skill doesn't really come into it there. It doesn't really matter, like in, in Linus Torvalds Tor case, his enormous experience and skill doesn't matter because in this scenario because the company is not interested in, or rather the, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's hungry for the sort of position that he's looking for. However, if you have a regular old developer who has every, now let's take Frontend for example, 
that has every single JavaScript framework on their CV and all of the different CSS architectures and so forth, that indicates hunger, that indicates relevancy. That does, it doesn't necessarily mean experience, but it indicates that the p person is truly passionate about what they do. Now, to be fair to Linus, he has enough of that stuff on his CV. Let's just call it that. Pretty sure that a lot of companies would assume that he's passionate about what he does. Anywho, that's the second thing. So the, fr the first thing is, it, they mistake it for skill, the naive companies. The second thing is that it indicates hunger. And the third thing is, and this is fairly important as well, and it goes doubly for consultancies. There are too many things going on in the IT world for a company to possibly be able to only hire people who have a formal education in something. Because frankly, there are not enough formal educations to keep up with the growing IT world. So what does that mean? Well, it means that if you are hiring a person who has a diverse CV, they are most likely, or in theory, they are going to bring in new knowledge into your company. That's the third one. It's especially interesting for consultancies where they literally cater to the whims of the market, which means that their stables or their portfolio of developers has to be diverse. Or they can specialize, it works too. But I would argue that it's kind of like having any company at all. You need to be selling what people are asking for, otherwise you won't make money. So those are the three main reasons why a diverse developer is so attractive to a company. Now let me explain to you why this is naive. And why this isn't something that you should be, or rather what I think you should be doing instead of trying to do what I see a lot of juniors, the fatal mistake that you make as a junior. So let's talk about diversification or being diverse and what that actually means. The company, as I said, they're interested in you because naively enough they think that that equals skill. Unfortunately, skill is not something you achieve by just knowing a lot of frameworks. It is about how you achieve that diversification. A truly mature company needs to ask the question, how did this developer get all of this on their CV? Because trust me, there are enough people out there on the internet who put every single framework or every single tool that they sat down a weekend and used a little bit on their CV and then call that skill. Sure, they know it to a degree and it looks nice on their CV and technically they have studied it, but they haven't done it in a professional manner. One of the biggest requests I have, and this is why most of the time I get contacted for front-end development work, and I'm saying that I get to contact, contacted on almost every other day from people all over the world who are looking for people who know React, but not hobby React, professional level React. Someone who knows that too. And I am one of the poor suckers who actually do, that, who do know that. Because most of the people out there who say that they know React, and this is also why I warn you to be careful about trusting people on, especially on YouTube, too much. Because you don't have to be a professional to know React. So why does that matter? If you know the tool, you know the tool, right? But that's not the case, is it? It's not. Because what the reason why a person wants to have, or rather why the demand for professional level JavaScript developers is so high, is because there's so many, the, as I said, the more mature companies realize that just having somebody who knows the tool doesn't help them. They need somebody who has used it in production, who knows all of this stuff, who has the experience of these different tools in a professional environment, who knows the benefits and the costs and all has an objective mindset. Not some fanboy who hacks away in the weekend and only knows that one tool. That is how you get... That, that is the... That is the, 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 the assumption that a company wants to be able to make about a developer who has a diverse portfolio because in a perfect world a developer with a diverse portfolio should be somebody who has really learned every single tool knows their stuff 
and has that diversification because they mastered one tool and then moved on to the next tool and then the next tool and then the next tool and they did so the right way they did it because they realized that there was a limitation for a specific use case in one tool and moved on to the next one that's what should happen it's not what's happening and people who are being hired or rather companies who hire without making sure that this is the case and making that very very specific requirement as I said that they have to have professional level experience with something they are gonna get burned very quickly it's gonna be very very troublesome for them next thing is that all right it indicates hunger that's a fair assessment it's a good thing to have hunger in your developers the more stuff that you know yeah absolutely I can I, I'm behind that hundred percent that hunger is is a good thing and for a junior developer it's very good to have a diverse portfolio but unfortunately hunger is going to give you very little if you don't know the tool so just stay, stay with me here if you sit down and learn all of the tools that are out there or try to learn them and all you do is to learn them skin deep then you lose something much more important and that is an understanding of the problem that this tool is helping you solve because that is what you are truly supposed to be doing you're solving problems and the tool should be the solution to your problem it should not be the goal it should be the ends to a mean or the means, sorry, the means to an end. And being hungry and having a diverse portfolio, that come, just trust me, get skilled at one thing and then add the next thing and then the next thing and then the next thing. But don't add them just willingly just because you think that you have to know them because that's not going to give anybody anything. There's plenty of other ways to show that you're hungry to a, to a company. And there are co companies don't just look at the diversity, how diverse your portfolio is or your CV. They look at everything from projects to, uh, there's tons of ways that you can communicate this. And finally, for the, for it's diverse, a diverse knowledge base is beneficial for a company because they think that they are going to get a div like more understanding, they're going to get new tools and new experiences and competency into their company if they hire somebody with a diverse portfolio. And once again, that is very true. But I raise my finger and I warn you and I say that is only true if you have a true bred professional joining the company. If you have a JavaScript fanboy or someone like that who just has hack like a, a weekend hacker coming into your company, you're going to burn your fingers really badly because of what I'm going to finish with. A lot of junior developers thinks, think that the, the amount of tools that they know will, will give them skill and indicate that they are good to the rest of the world. And that is true to, as I said, to naive companies that may be the case. But the problem is that if you just have a bunch of tools and you don't have the experience of, or rather, if you just have tools and you have no idea what problems they're there to solve, then they don't make any sense to you. The, the, you've missed the most important distinction between somebody who knows a lot of tools and somebody who's a real professional. And that distinction is that the professional has been in the trenches. They know a bunch of tools because they have burned their fingers over and over and over and they know what's a good choice and what's a bad choice. Somebody who just knows a bunch of tools have no way of knowing what direction to pick for a company because they're not, not a true professional. A true professional doesn't necessarily know every tool on the market, but they know the stuff that will help them get the job done. That's what you should go for. It's not about the number of tools you know, it's about solving problems.